Hey YouTube, today I'm gonna show you how to make a diaper cake. I know it's not sewing, but I was making one and I figured I'd show you all how I did it. I really wanted to make it with no rubber bands to make it a little bit more eco-friendly, and I also used some things I already had to assemble it. You just need a few supplies. Diapers, ribbon and raffia, a toy for the topper, and a platter to put everything on. I am using this festive Halloween tray because it was the perfect size and you won't be able to see the design anyway. Use what you have available. Oh, and you also need the cardboard from a paper towel roll. Just loosen it and pull and it will pop out if you don't have an empty one. Now we have everything we need. Let's get started. First I'm gonna show you a few things I tried that didn't work. Like this package of raffia. That looked more like a giant bird's nest when I opened it. Luckily I had a roll of it and that worked much better. I first attempted to wrap the raffia around the diapers all in one go, but it kept falling apart. So then I cut the raffia into little strips and tied each individual diaper up, way easier. Then I tied the first layer of diapers to the cardboard tube. Make sure you center the ribbon or this will happen. Continue to make the diaper rolls to make the base as wide as you need it to cover the holiday tray of your choice. the diapers because I'm also using this as one of the games for the shower. People will have to guess how many diapers were used. Take some ribbon and tie the bottom layer together. Next grab the toy topper which will cover the rest of the cardboard. You can use diapers for the whole thing but I saw this and thought it was perfect because we all know a triceratops is the best dinosaur. Tie the toy to the cardboard tube and make the next layer of diaper rolls. You can make them all at one time. I just didn't. I added an extra diaper to the top layer to throw anyone off if they were trying to count and also because there was a gap that needed to be filled in. Next use your pretend powers of molecular immobilization, more commonly referred to as freezing, to make the diapers stay put until you can tie another ribbon around them. Tuck in anything that looks out of place and you're done! This makes a great gift, as well as an easy game to play at the shower. Here's some other ideas for some eco-friendly games. Guess the baby food flavor. I bought glass jars so they can be recycled and removed all the labels, as well as wood tasting spoons, which will decompose over time. I got these from my local craft store. Keep a separate container for the used ones. I know I should have used glass, but I honestly didn't even think about this step until people started playing the game and then it was too late. But you can keep that in mind for the shower you're planning. I found a word search online and used Google Docs to put all three games on one sheet of paper. You can even print on the back if you have more games. I also got some onesies and used the leftover diapers for people to write messages on. You can get pretty creative with the messages and it will make mom and dad laugh when they have to change them later on. Go ahead and share any in the comments that you think would be funny too. Now I know these are not the most eco-friendly options out there because we all know to be truly eco-friendly you just shouldn't have parties or kids, but people are gonna do what they wanna do. So if you live in an area like me that doesn't have a lot of eco-friendly options, hopefully this will give you some ideas. 